To transfer photo from a computer to a phone is an easy task to carry out, okay? So in this video, I will put you through on how you can do that. I'll walk you through on how to transfer photo from computer to an Android device. And I will walk you through on how you can still do the same thing from a computer to an iPhone in easy steps. So let's just get right into it. Let's start with the sharing of the photo from PC to an Android device, okay? There are many methods you can use for this. You can use the Bluetooth method and you can use the cable method, transfer through cable. But let's focus on transfer using cable so that the photo in question doesn't lose quality, okay? So open your file explorer. It should be here, okay, at this spot. I'm using Windows 11 OS, but if you are using other versions, it's the same thing. So click on File Explorer. As the File Explorer opens, get to the Pictures folder. Okay, so this by default display all the pictures you have in your PC. Are you getting that? So, but here I want I have a special folder I created containing my photos. So you can organize your photos in a special folder so that if the photos are much, it will be easy for you to move them to your phone. So let me open this. Okay, so here you can see I have some folders here, but I want to create another folder here that will contain specific photos I want to transfer from this computer to my PC. So I will click on new and select folder. Then I will give this a name. Okay. So let me call these TT photos, okay? Press the enter key for the name to be saved. Now it's now time to go and select the photos you want to transfer. Okay, now that I've created a folder and I call it TT photos, let me now go and select the pictures I want to add to this folder, okay? Take your cursor to one of the pictures, okay, uh, and click on it. Then press and hold on the control key of your computer keyboard and then click on the rest of the photos that you want to move to the folder. You can see I've selected four here. Release the pressure on the control key. Then press and hold on the left button of your mouse, okay. Take your cursor to one of the pictures and then press and hold on the left button of your mouse, okay. Then don't release the pressure, please hold it there and then drag and drop the pictures into the folder. You can see if I double click here and open this, you can see the four pictures are here. Now it's time for us to now go and move this folder to our Android device. The next step is with the cable using charging of your Android device, connect one end to the port of your PC, your computer, and the other end to the charging port of your Android phone, okay? Once you do this, there may be a notification on your Android device, so enable file transfer. Good. Once you do that, you can be able to transfer the photos from your computer to the Android device. But if notification does not show up on your Android device, on connecting the two devices, through cable at the top left okay swipe down through the control you will see some options and one of them is android system okay the term may differ depending on the type of android you're using so tap there for you to enable file sharing between the computer and your android then you will be taken to a page that looks like this that you're seeing on the screen. Ensure that file transfer is selected. Other options you may see there are USB tethering, MIDI, PTP, and no data transfer. Some Android devices will have it at no data transfer, meaning that they don't want you to transfer data from your computer to your Android, but just charging. Okay, so please ensure that the file transfer option is selected, okay? Okay, let's get back to the computer. Now that we have um, placed our photos in a folder, click on that folder, okay? And select copy, this is copy icon. Alternatively, you can right click and select the copy option, okay? There's copy here, so click on that, and that is copy, all right? 
then get to this side you can see this option this pc click there then this displays the storage is available on this pc at this point in time so this is the name of my smartphone the android phone double click on it then you can right click here and select the paste option so these photos are now transferred into your android device so with this once you get to your phone and get to the photos option or gallery you will see all these pictures there okay that is how it works so let me go and walk you through on how you can transfer file from your computer to an iphone for you to transfer photo from a computer to an iphone the first step you need to take is to install an application on that your computer called itunes without itunes sharing pictures or photos from your computer to an iphone will be difficult for you so let's not put ourselves into stress okay open the microsoft store as the store opens click here and search for itunes okay press the enter key for it to search now itunes shows up in the search result so take your cursor here and click on install okay here is already installed all right so that's why you are not seeing anything like install here it has changed to open okay so but install it on your pc which after that click on open for it to open once it opens you'll be landed on the page that looks like this then the next step you need to take is with the cable you use in charging of your iphone connect the one end to the charging port of your iphone and connect the other end to the usb port of your computer once this connection is made you will hear a sound just as it played now all right then take your cursor to this spot and click you can see this iphone icon ensure you are in the library tab for you to see this so click here once you click here you will see a details like this just click on file sharing then this opens this page displaying some apps that can share file between your computer and your iphone i get in it if you don't have any app here please on your iphone install this app called zender from the app store so open your app store of your iphone and install it so once you install it you will see it here so but other apps can display as well so click on this zender in this case because i already installed it on my iphone it opens a page like this then click on add file this displays this folder it opens the file explorer of my phone opening a particular folder okay i can decide to go to the pictures main folder and from there i will get down to my pictures or any other folder i created by myself that contains the pictures inside of it okay then this is the folder i created initially when i was doing the one of android so i'll double click on it for it to open now that this folder has opened i will individually select all these pictures and add them once so press and hold on the control key of your computer keyboard then select all these pictures you want to add all right all these photos okay they are now selected click on open you can see these photos are now added in my iphone for you to confirm it let's get to the iphone screen right now i am on the screen of my iphone okay the home screen right now so let's tap on the photos app to see if the photos we just sent is there as you can see none of those photos is here what it means is that those photos are in the zender folder and i'm going to access the zender folder 
through the files app so if you used another file sharing application you will find it state, for example word or excel if you added those photos in excel through the pc you will see them in an excel folder of your iphone okay so better we used zender all right so what you need to do is get to the files app okay see the files app here so tap on it you may be landed on this page showing you the locations you have on your iphone you have on my iphone we have our icloud drive we have one drive because i installed one drive here okay so there are different locations on the iphone but we are going to on my iphone so tap on my iphone now you can see zender as one of the major folders here because i installed zender on this iphone likewise word if you scroll down you see other folders include those ones i created by myself chrome was created automatically because i have chrome up here as well as excel all right so now our interest is on zender because we use zender through the computer so tap zender now this lists our photos but we don't want these photos to be here we want to move them to the pictures app all right or photos app of our iphone so that once we want to access all the pictures on our iphone we we'll see everything there so tap the three dots at the top right go with select then select all these photos one two three four now that the photos are selected tap the share icon at the bottom left okay then this opens this page all right you can drag up a little and then select the save for pictures option depending on the number of pictures you selected number of images you can see save three images you can see save 10 images are you getting it so that is why I have saved four images because I selected the four images I moved from my computer to this iPhone. All right. Now with this, these photos are now saved in the pictures app. So let's get to the home screen again. Then you can see photos up here. The photos up, tap there. I'm not seeing all those four photos here. It's that simple. All right. I hope you find this guide helpful. Please, if it does help, consider subscribing to my channel so that you can learn some other tech things, okay? Here we talk more on technology, how to use your computer, how to use your smartphones, okay? And also self-publishing. So all are under the umbrella of technology. So learn how you can do things technically, okay, from this channel. Also, hit that like button for this video to be shared to more people who want to learn about similar things. Okay, I'll leave a comment in the comment section to boost this content as well. All right, you can watch this video to learn how to share file, a different type of file, differently. Thank you and see you some other time.